Those times have passed when girls will be forming bad gang for boys. Men, please take note. Don't come meet me with hey, hi, how are you doing? Doing you beautiful. I delete you. Ah, ah. Don't go disgrace yourself. I come attack me. But hold on. Woman, it work. It will work for you if you don't put in the effort. Not let's hang out. And as he was coming, he brought food. Don't ask me to come and chill. What are you complaining about? You don't do your job. Period. Ah, see. Take care. The fact that we're supporting Black Lives Matter does not mean that we should not date people from other countries. Hello, my lovelies. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> I'm back. I'm better. I'm different stuff stopping by. You're absolutely welcome. I don't know what to talk about in this video. I'm not going to lie, but I'll update you guys on boyfriend. You know. Bloody sweet sugar. <laughs> now, I'm teaching you how to shoot your shot 2020. This works like a snake. Like, it works so well. See, I'm, after this video, just go and tell me thank you. Before I even tell you what's up, go to the comment section and drop thank you, Nia. <laughs> You know when you go on IG and there's this guy that maybe you've seen a couple times and you think he's good looking. This boy is a sweet boy. He's fine, okay? But he has so many girls chasing him. Now, let me tell you something. Don't lose hope. Don't. Monitor him. Yes, yeah, stalk him. That's it. Let me now teach you how to stalk him and then attack. Everybody's way of shooting shots lately has been, oh, just DM him. Just DM. Do you know how many DMs he's getting every day? Just like you as a girl, as a fine babe. You're getting plenty DMs. That's the same way you're getting so many DMs. If you're a fine girl, you're trying to hit on the fine boy. It's very hard because you have ego. You feel like everybody should hit on you because you're fine. But hold on. You're seeing that so many girls are in his comment section and all he does is just like the comments. He doesn't really reply any of the comments. Now the first step is up to you. Go on his profile. Eh? Check how often he posts pictures or videos, whatever content he's posting. Check how often he posts. If it's the kind of person that posts every day, you have a very low chance of getting this guy's attention. Okay, that's the first thing. You have a very low chance because every day he's posting, every day he gets notifications on his phone that all these people have liked his pictures. And he's still getting notifications on his phone the next day about the picture he just posted the day before. And he's posting more. So he never has the opportunity to see you follow him or like his pictures because there's so many people consistently follow him or liking his pictures so this guy might be popular he might not be popular if he's not popular easier for you if he's popular that's when it becomes harder let's assume that this guy is popular like maybe he's in maybe 9k 10k and above and let's say he's above those numbers on as in follower count oh. <laughs> and then you now you're not there thinking out of all these 9k people all these babes in his comment section maybe he has like 400 babes commenting or 200 or even 100 babes commenting what are the chances that's going to see your comments like so now you've seen this the first job here you have is to go back to your own profile make sure you're a penguin first you must be a penguin if you're chasing after a penguin okay because boys obviously they want somebody to match their energy it doesn't matter if you have the same number of followers just match the energy make sure that your i don't know whether you guys call it dp or rv or profile picture whatever you call it make sure that picture is the finest picture on your camera roll so that when somebody just sees your name they're not seeing your name they're seeing your profile your picture that's the first move now second move is look for that day if it's kind of person that posts like every other day on instagram which so many people do these days you can choose the day after he has posted or the morning of the day he's going to post just make sure it's not the first few hours after he's posted because you're on your own or you don't like one picture don't like only the picture he just posted in fact don't even like the picture he posted don't like it just leave it you don't want to be one of the followers that just joined you don't want to be that you want to be one of the followers that saw him and noticed him so go down the camera roll his own roll not his camera roll go down his own profile pictures go and look for those particular pictures that stood out on his profile and double click them now comment on one of those pictures only one don't do don't do two one comment something nice don't go and comment a um, heart heart emoji everybody post heart heart emoji make sense with the comments maybe his outfit you can com compliment his outfit just something that will make him look at your comments you finish liking those three pictures you've commented click on that follow button there's a 70 percent chance this guy will see that you have checked him out now it's up to him to follow you or not to follow you the concealer i'm using instant age right concealer by maybelline this is where you come into play because i'm not about to give you tips and tricks and then you're going to 
discredit yourself out there. Okay, don't go and discredit yourself. Akuma attack me because I give you tips and tricks and it worked for me. It doesn't stop at that. This guy has to be interested in you too because it's not all, it's not just about you looking like a penguin. You look like a penguin and this guy does not text or maybe he's even talking to random people at that point. So you become one of the randoms. You don't want to be that, you want to stand out. And by standing out, I don't mean you have to reply him 50 years after he messaged you. No. That those times have passed when girls will be forming bad gang for boys. <laughs> Nobody has time for that again. I was watching this video on TikTok where a girl was asking boys if they like girls that reply early or late. So many of them actually said they prefer girls that reply early to girls that reply late or just in between don't give them reply after 20 hours of texting you except you have a reasonable reason for doing that but if you shut your shot that means you clearly wanted that attention so don't go and seek for attention and then be doing bad gang no you sought attention stay there and collect the attention that you sought for and if he's not a good texter maybe he gives you straight answers don't write him off yet Find out how he is when he talks over the phone. And it's not bad for a girl to say, do you want to speak over the phone? Maybe you walked that day. You can say, well, I just finished work. Do you want to talk? Do you want to gist? You know? That's you shooting your shot without you making yourself too available. You can say you you just finished work and you're kind of bored. Don't stress. Don't stress at all. It's not that hard. Umati work. It will work for you if you don't put in the effort. I'm going to let this concealer sit on my face for a bit. Just so it can get thicker and I'll spread it out. That's how to shoot your shot to 2020. This concealer is from L'Oreal. I just don't know the color. I don't know the name. I think it's in C10. It's called C10 Coco something Coco or something. I don't even know, but that's what it is. It's really, it's like literally the darkest shade they have. And I always use contour because it gives me the best contour. Although it's really dark, I just like contouring around my forehead as well. I'm going to teach you guys how to contour nose. Like this is something I had to learn the hard way. Everyone has their reasons for being attracted to who they are attracted to. You know when I was in Nigeria, honestly speaking, if I was still back in Nigeria right now, if I had never come out of the country to study, I would have been in the whole group of people that would be like, oh, I can't really see myself with any other person except Nigerians. That's because I've not experienced being around them. Or maybe I would have been one of those people that are crazy about K-pop or whatever. But I've lived around these people and I know I have experience with these people. I have friends that are Asians. It's not something that I just started out of the blues. It's something that I grew into. So I was in relationship with black men but let me just come and tell you guys how I feel about black men and this does not apply to every black man but this is what I noticed from being in you know situationships with these guys when I say dating if you've not watched my video on the difference between dating and situationship we have can watch it but if you have welcome sit down sit tight I've dated black guys and I realized yo the fact that we women feel like we are at fault every single time that any situation comes up and i know this is not this does not apply to all black men i'm coming to you and i'm you know i'm complaining that you don't take me on dates you don't you don't you don't put in any effort even if you call me it's not about calling you can call me and that's fine but there's so many of you out here not paying attention to your women i don't care why you playing your game can't play your game do what you want to do but when it comes to me please put in some effort because i am a gem and i own that okay you have to walk your ass off to get me i'm setting my face with the huda beauty blondie setting powder and i'm not saying it's different for asians or it's different for you know white men no that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying please work on it more because i find that because of the way our parents especially nigerian parents train us when we're growing up they make women believe that we have to do everything like we like we need to clean the house we need to be the ones to take care of the children they basically make us feel like we have to do everything and the man all he just needs to do is walk and come back home you have a responsibility too you can join me to wash the plates sweep the room or to do the laundry or to take care of the children so that's why we're married i get that the bible says yes that we women should honor their husbands we should submit to our husbands and god's word is god's word you can't change it okay even god says he's not changing his own word so i said how serious it is out of all the black guys that i had situationships with only one listen to my words only one took me out on a date not let's hang out let's go let's go on it on an ice cream date let's go out on a date let's go somewhere let's go and do something fun i should not be coming to your house okay I don't owe you anything in your house. Don't ask me to come and chill. 
or every time you want to come and hang out at my apartment or you want me to come and hang out at your apartment no take me out on a date tell me to dress up dress up and let's go on a date okay it's not wrong it's not bad i'm not your sister so many black boys especially nigerian boys are ready to attack me in that comment section because i know that you guys get triggered anytime you say this thing you don't take us out on dates when you see us now dating other men from other countries you start complaining what are you complaining about you don't do your job okay you don't do your job if you're doing your job i can claim i can you know stand in place for you put in effort so that if tomorrow i stop dating you i feel like i miss you okay don't be telling me come let's meet at home meet which home don't meet me at home meet me inside the restaurant and I, you don't have to pay okay i'm one person that believes strongly that whoever is the one that asks for the black person to go on a date could pay or could not pay it's up to you but if you feel like you want to pay cover the bills if you feel like if the girl says don't worry i'll pay for my own then that's fine or you can even convince her i'll say no don't worry like i'll cover it it's fine come and cook for me come and spend time in my house no come and meet me outside this is the reason why when we find ourselves dating other men we, they're just very relaxed about it like even if they ask, they ask us on a date self we'll be acting like they did one superior thing for us when this is actually what they're supposed to be doing that's your job period Po, nigga, what you doing? I actually dated a Korean guy, and I'm telling you something. When I tell you that, <sighs> the difference is clear. <sighs> Hold on, let me break something. Okay, so I'm not beating black men down. Trust me, I'm actually not. I'm just telling you guys how I feel about the way most of them treat us. Most. But I give credit to moms because most of them are like actually showing us that yo put some effort, okay? Put some effort. I'm a I'm an egg. Treat me like one. Anyways, back to what I was saying. I dated this Korean guy. Obviously, my G was going back to Korea because he was just here for a short time. But at the same time, in less than three days of talking, two days, one day of talking, this guy already asked me out on a date. And I mean, he was serious about saying, oh, do you want to go on a date? Let's, let's go out and eat in a restaurant. He put in the effort to look for a restaurant for us to go to. I'm using this Juvia's face, Zulu by Juvia's. I'm using this brown color to contour my cheeks. He put in so much effort, made so much effort to go out, like to just on the first date, dress so, ah, ah, my God, I'm, no, no. Trust me, I'm not bashing black men. I'm not. And if there's any other guy, any other person that's watching this video except for me, because I have other friends that are not black as well. If there's any other guy that's watching this video that's not black, I'm not bashing black men. Black men, please don't take offense. I'm saying black men because not just Nigerian men. Please don't take offense because I'm just calling you out on what you could be doing that can change a lot about how we see people. This guy took me out on the first date. That was not enough. He asked me out on the second date again. And this time it was not it was not the same eating date. It was a hike. Like, can you put in effort, please? We don't have to sit down in a restaurant. We don't have anything we're talking about. We've been chatting. I've told you about my life story when we're talking in the restaurant. We have just said we've had fun together. It, don't take me to your house. Don't come and be looking for sugar. I mean, I'm coming to this. Hold on. I'm going to the James Charles palette and I'm using these two colors and this one as well to contour and blush up my skin, my cheeks. Give my cheeks some rosy finish. Don't sit down there and be acting like there's nothing to do. There's hike. You can go to climb the mountain with me. Wear your hype shoes, even if we don't wear hype shoes. Take me somewhere that I've not gone before. Ask me if I've been there. If I say I have, take me somewhere. Look for somewhere else. There's internet. There's so many places to have. Wherever you are, Nigeria or Canada or London or wherever you are in this world, you can't tell me there's nowhere that the girl that the girl has gone to everywhere in that place. She has not. Take her to somewhere she has not been to before. This guy was not even from, he's never even lived in Montreal. This, he literally just moved to Canada for four months for only uh, a transfer program. And he was, the way he was like finding places, he went on that date. He came and came. Ah, 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 ah. Now, I'll tell you where I fucked up because I clearly did. And this is where everything went wrong. And I'm going to give you guys this advice because if I don't give you the advice, you're going to fuck up like me too. The third time he came over, he actually came over to my place. Not for anything, we didn't do anything sexual. You push calm down your brain, your brain cells might be functioning in a different way now. Now, one thing I like about Asians or Korean guys, not just Korean guys, I feel like Asians in general, they're straightforward. White and black guys, this is where you guys go wrong in so many areas. You don't tell us your real intentions. Are you interested in getting to know me or interested in coming into my pants? What is it that you're interested in? The third time, 
this guy came all the way from where he was not to do anything with me but to go on a picnic with me and as he was coming he brought food <laughs> hey jesus let me tell you something i don't like comparing and i don't like contrasting this is an individual thing but it is mostly harder with black men because i have found it as that is how it is because i'm not the only one that's complained so many of my friends have complained and it is not something that has to do with girls most times because there's there's some girls that actually are the problem but in my case i am not the problem clearly because if one guy can do it two guys can do it for me the other guys don't do it and the highest population of people that don't do it are black men what what other misconception do you want me to have of black men if you guys may call it mis misconceptions so this is what happened he came to my house he wanted to take me out on a picnic date now this is where i fucked up like big time this guy from talking to him over these few days like we've talked so much to the point where like we've discussed okay is it something that would you like ever look into having a child like having having children in your marriage and stuff and he says he was not in he was not it's not something he really wanted to do because he wants he's a quality time guy now when you get to know a guy please Learn about his love language. This guy's love language is clearly quality time because when he told me, he was like, he would rather actually spend more time with his wife, talking with his wife, and you know, living a good life with his wife and having fun and going places with his wife than having children that would distract any of them from each other and stuff. So I clearly saw that this guy's love language is quality time. But what happened? Now, I'm not going to blame black guys, but this is what happened. Now, knowing that in the past, no one has really ever done this type of come this far into like putting in this much effort into me i relaxed as well you know i was over relaxed and this is where there was a problem i over relaxed this is my own problem now and i had to learn from this experience to not make the same mistake again now i when he came over here to go on a picnic with me instead of me to leave my youtube that i was editing the fully video i was editing look at me now two months i've stayed without doing video that day no i should have just flipping left that video and followed him on the picnic dates but no i decided to finish editing that video and even at that my g sat down he sat down on my on my desk asking for paper brought food this was after i finished child because me i made food for him too he brought food for me i didn't even know he was food for me he brought food for me i made food for him so the plan was to go on a picnic but me as a dance and he had a class that evening at like maybe 6 p.m or something and he came in the afternoon ish so he could spend all the time with me and then go for his class <sighs> after we finished chowing the poor was not going to chow here but after we finished chowing i was still editing my video and this guy asked me for a pen and some paper little did i know what he was doing he sat down uncle sat down and wrote me a whole letter i'm not putting it on the screen because some are so if he and fishy this e is a capital letter e for effort he put in effort he wrote me a whole letter in korean he said he's not gonna tell me what it means i beg this guy because he has a handwriting obviously and when you write something and you can't really read because me i was learning korean i'm still learning it and obviously i could not read what he was writing because his handwriting was so muddled up it was fine but it was so muddled up i cannot understand what he wrote what he wrote on it in it so like me at that point i was like okay fine if this is how you want to move no other but i didn't i didn't bother so i didn't know what he wrote but it was at the end of the day i found out what he wrote and he's it was so adorable but hold on hold on hold on hold on his parents are christian but him he's not was he christian i think he's christian he was no 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 him is not christian but his parents were christian but some incidents happened and they kind of cut of the whole christian this thing and stuff just some stuff i'm not supposed to discuss it these are personal things even at that he was still will oh let me not forget the fact that he played my git he played guitar for me and he said he's never played for anybody before in his life like honestly speaking like he actually like he's very shy so clearly i could believe him and it, it was like two years since he had played and i'm doing guys all the gist because i actually care about you guys and i just want to gist you guys honestly because i'm missing people but he actually played for me and he was so I don't I still have recordings of it. I don't I don't think he even knew I was recording. <laughs> but anyways, like all these little easy things he did. I'm giving this guy so much credit because this is the first person that's putting this much effort. Now the fourth date we went on, I told you guys earlier that this guy is not even Christian to start with. But he followed me to church. Now it was almost looking like oh this I hope this is not a bit too much. But he actually put in the effort to try to see what makes me happy to do all those things boys men Niger let me not say nigerian boys why are you putting i'm coming at you men please take note 
put in effort if for effort is important don't come and meet me with hey hi how are you doing in my messages i will delete this is how i do when i see messages i say hey hi how are you doing you're beautiful i delete you beautiful i don't care that beautiful you're beautiful go out, go to my comment section and drop it there that you have a higher chance of being successful dropping your beautiful in my comment section than in my message section get away from my message with you're beautiful i know thank god i am uh -uh. see take care you should be very careful very careful i've come out though i like asian men and that's it for me if you accept it or not i don't even give a it too about it <laughs> i don't give a hoot if you accept or not because i'm not coming to give you my g so that you can accept it or, or disagree with me now if you're a nigerian girl and you're dying for asian men because of korean series you think all of them are like that no <laughs> don't deceive yourself oh. not all of them are like that i have asian um, asian friends that are not like that they're not the same way you guys think all asian or korean men are they put in effort i mean they're cute or whatever but they know how to cut somebody <laughs> This is my problem with them. They don't cut you off. Like they know how to just you know back out of whatever they don't want to be in. That's how they are. So like for my, I'm talking my own experience. I don't know about other people's experiences. I mean, I'm going to just use my mascara. I told you guys I'm not doing any serious makeup. I just use my lips, my mascara, and put some dots on my face and that's it for this makeup look. This um, mascara I'm using is NYC New York Color Big Bold Volume. What's the difference? There's a slight difference actually this is my very basic makeup look i just even finally invested in a high-end brand powder this huda beauty one is literally the best and it smells so good anyways that's my gist though for you people hmm. all of you boys that are arguing and hey the one that pains me the most is the fact that whenever i tell black boys that you're attracted to guys from a different country they tend to just take offense like why are you taking offense when people like your white women do we complain i even see more more black guys with asian women than i see asian men with black women do you know that for real i actually do but one thing is sure you can like who you like and it's completely fine there's so many women that will tell you i can't see myself with any man apart from a black man and there's so many white girls that will tell you they're yo i'm a fucking attracted to black men and even my men self i'd rather even be with a black man than be with my men and me i'm here with the black men and i'm like okay <laughs> okay so try it's like you can do what you want to do you can you know you know what you like you know what you want i told you guys i gave one a chance this corona time and it was actually good he's actually such an amazing guy but knowing that distance is not possible this was last try the last straw for me i was just like let me just give it a chance to just see if it's okay and see if there's anything actually wrong with black men in general or if it's just a misconception from the few people i dated or stuff and i found that it was just the fact that these are guys not all the guys i'm telling you there were just a few that actually put in some effort but what i'm just trying to say is that i just found out that yo it's not it's not it's not something that is i can blame on a particular race just i'll just say black men no it's not black men in general it's just the fact that our mothers trained them to feel to be like in this superior position to not really put in that much effort it was just like oh relax the woman will come to you if you're fine kind of thing or just put in just shoot your shot and that's it but let me just round off my makeup and you know this is it for me i'm not wearing lashes in this one my hair done already i'm going to use my eyeliner to put some dots on my face because i really like that dots dots thing i love it so much the eyeliner i use is from i can't find my eyeliner hold on guys. i'm using the elf eyeliner i don't know what this is. i just called elf basically black men are attractive but i've seen some fine ass boys like this so plenty that are fine if you like what you like you like what you like don't let anybody discourage you because they feel like you're not being fair or you're just doing something extra no nobody should tell you oh but what, what do you mean are you trying to like hit down on black men another thing is i don't understand why okay i think this is going to be a topic for another day because i feel like not nobody talks about this and it's very irritating because a lot of people are doing right now and it's very, very annoying basically there's this thing about like you know how this whole black lives matter thing has been going on and everybody has been so serious about it people are doing this thing where like they're saying oh since we want to support the fact that black lives matter everybody should put in some effort into dating black men you date you black men date black women black women black. like no god did not put us into this world to say oh only black for black white for white no he didn't do that and the fact that we're supporting black lives matter does not mean that we should not date people from other countries so i actually say that people that are married to women that are married to white men or men that are married black men that are married to white women should end their marriages 
no or people that dating should end their relationships because of black lives matter notion no you don't do that I, I think that's a very selfish move for people to make or for thing for people to say if you're talking like that then you're, you're, you're really actually not supporting your own self because how can you be against what you like just because you're trying to support a, a notion like I'm not saying that we should we should we should not voice our opinions on this whole black lives matter thing but don't use your opinions to cloud other people's opinions because you feel like black lives matter so um only black couples should only support black couples no no hell no i can date who i want to date see let me tell you the if i'm going to end up with a white man so be it if i'm going to end up with a black man so be it and it's okay for god to decide okay that's not what i want for you it's okay but if tomorrow you guys see me getting married to an asian man please don't come and be telling me it's k-pop it's um k-drama if maybe that's the way you found them i found out about asian men and maybe you're dying for your opal apal whatever you put on them <laughs> don't come read that notion please thank you so much for you know sticking with me to this point if you watch this point please drop a butterfly emoji <laughs> I'm joking. drop a kiss emoji down below if you actually stop came watch mm, watch to this point my camera is about to die it's actually blinking so bad now oh my god mark sent me new they sent me some goodies ah! oh this lipstick store This is the lips. This lipstick is called um, Good Morning. I'm gonna use the lip gloss. I don't even know what it's called. It's called Gonna Love Me. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna love you, Mark. Wow! I feel like this is a bit trans Oh, oh, so buttery. That's a bit of a tint, which I'm not really a fan of, but I like it. It's cute. It's nice. It's glossy. Yeah, this is my basic everyday makeup look without any lashes and I'm still looking like a queen This highlighter, I don't even know what it's called but right now I don't like using highlighters in general This is so... Oh. And it has this yellowish undertone I'm, a, I'm so here for this right now I don't use highlighters but wow, let me try Oh my gosh Wow Can you see that glow? Okay, okay, okay. I think this rounds up my makeup look. Okay, so I just came to round up. I did wear some lashes. I did not plan to, but I was just like, if I gotta take pictures now in the sun, it no go to make. But the back, they like fish. I don't know why. Shall. This is the finished look. This is my whole outfit. Don't write someone else off as, you know, not good enough just because you don't like them. For me, I don't write black men off. I just finished stuff. I just finished dating a black guy, so it's clear that I'm not against black men. I just, honestly, for me, I just realized that it's Asian men for me. I don't care if it's Korean, Chinese, Japanese, whatever the breed. <laughs> Say breed. Whatever, wherever it's from, I don't even care. But I'm just attracted to Asian men in general, and I have a type. I have a type when it comes to Asian men. So, yeah. Anyways. I guess um, if God wants to honor my decisions or my choices, he's going to. If he doesn't want to as well, he's God, he decides, you know? But I really have for coming back and talking to you guys because it's been a while. I think, I don't even know what kind of topics you guys want me to talk about. I think I'm gonna go now. Thank you so much for watching. I love you, my little munchkins. I'll see you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to put down below what kind of videos you want me to gist about.